Hi everyone, my name is Max Devine and today we're starting a new tradition that I hope becomes a thing for Natasha is we're going to have an author interviewing another author about their book. Today I'm here with Natasha Lukin. She's written before, first book, Bride of Moscow. Another, The Lukin Longevity System, a self-help book or a non-fiction. And today we're back to fiction with Dead by Text. Natasha, how are you? I am good. I'm very good. Thank you very much. Happy talking to you. Something I think, and Jim Lipton thought so as well, is someone's background is always important when you're figuring out where a book comes from. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and where you come from? Well, my background quite uh, large. I came to Australia in 1992 and the best thing about it was that I actually understood very clearly that I come with, um, I need to start from scratch, is it correct expression? Yes, yeah, start from scratch. Yeah, because I knew past life, I call it past life in Moscow, a different life. Now I came here, I need to start again. I was teaching Russian at the Melbourne University and doing different stuff. I worked for Cancer Council of Victoria, uh, always working about health, psychology and this stuff. But I have a knack, I have a feeling, I have a desire to write fiction books, uh, thrillers, murder mysteries, suspense, but with a meaning. Things with meaning. Things with meaning. Not just events, but how it developed, what happened to people, when they, why they act a certain way. So we know stories are everywhere, but is your background in psychology helpful to you when you're coming up with characters like Jonathan and Rose? Absolutely, yeah. Because people uh, have... Uh, everybody, if you analyze someone done something, it should be motivation behind this. It should be some reason. Sometimes people do bad things. We, we shouldn't think he's a bad person. We need to think why he behaved badly, what happened to him, what was behind this, what's the motivation. So I like the analysis in depth of the characters. What, that is what I did try to do. What did Jonathan's motivation gets him into an interesting situation in Dead by Text, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. What Absolutely. inspired this? What inspired you to do this? Um, accidentally, more or less accidentally, I bumped into online dating uh, culture. Not like if I was looking for something on a dating site. No, I was normally on Instagram and people start approaching me and I start uh, trying to understand why they do it. And I have girlfriends, they share their stories. So I see it's a big slice of modern society, big slice and getting bigger, bigger and bigger, especially now in self-isolation, nothing to do. People go online and they live illusionary life, mm. but when they crashed, it's a real depression and a real suffering. And but, what about Rose's motivation? Uh, she, to put it briefly, she was a woman looking for love, for passion, mm. and um, she was a character without borders or without boundaries. A uh, very free soul, and um, and she fell in love. That's mm -hmm. what happened. She fell in love online, mm -hmm. and then it moved to real life. And when it moved to real life, it gradually become muddled with jealousy. And um, by the way, Jonathan was married with kids, so infidelity, a lot of stuff. And at the end, it. I don't tell you how it finished. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. It's a detective story. <laughs> 